Hey Gemini, welcome to your April forecast for love, sex, and emotions. Okay, this is your forecast in love, and it is a you versus them, and it's a general reading. So roles can be reversed. It could be baggage that you've been carrying around with you, somebody new coming towards you, or um, somebody that you are already dealing with. Okay, so take what feels light for you and leave the rest. Um, if it does resonate for you, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The only way for this channel to grow are through those subscriptions and through the liking or commenting so that it gets into the analytics system. And the noise you hear will probably be my dogs. And if that annoys you, then I may not be the reader for you as well. I am an intuitive, so some of what I see in the tarot cards are not traditional. So I also may not be for you. So just take what what feels good for you and leave everything else out, all right? So let's get started seeing what's going on here. Oliver's like, I'm gonna get a little bit nesty here, so give me a minute. Maybe you're nesting as well. Okay, um, he has pulled the pillow out of his bed. Okay, hey, hey, quit it, lay down. I'm sorry, you pulled your pillow out, but you don't get to tear up the bottom of your bed. All right, Gemini. Ooh, Gemini. Going into April. Gemini. Gemini's person. Gemini's person. Gemini's person. Wow. Okay, so you are going into the month, okay? Pulled back, trying to get illumination, trying to figure out your direction. But the good news is you're going to find it, okay? By the middle of the month, you're going to know exactly where you want to go, how to get there. By the end of the month, you are going to be fighting for it, all right? Now, at the beginning of the month... Someone's walking away from something that is no longer serving them, um, pulling their emotions back. Middle of the month, okay, they are giving up on the hard journey. And at the end of the month, they, it's like they get clarity, okay? Um, or for some of you, it's that they just don't care anymore. It's like it's unknown and I don't care. Okay. But let's go ahead and get a little clarity. <laughs> All right. Because this could be someone who, if you are single, this could be somebody ending something that they're in that's going to move forward towards you. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right. Yeah. You've been working on yourself. Okay, taking the time that you needed. Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like you had to work on perhaps why have I been obsessed about love or about money? You know, there's something you've been obsessed about and you really had to work through that issue. Okay, yeah. You are no longer interested in putting in effort where the effort isn't being put in as well. And it's crossed by the fool in reverse. So again, you're like, I'm not going to put my efforts into any directions until I see a payout for myself. Okay, this person, okay, they are finding their inner strength. They're walking away from emotions and finding their inner strength. And I do find it kind of interesting that, okay, the hermit is up on a platform, kind of like the fool. This person is kind of up on a platform, kind of like the fool. So you may not be talking to, to this person, okay? All right, three of cups. So the universe is, okay, divining their love crossed by the Ten of Cups, okay, to bring to them 
now that they it's like they were strong enough to walk away from something that emotionally was not giving to them and so the universe is like now we can give you the three of cups now we can give you the ten of cups all right i kind of had a feeling that that's where this was going okay so middle of the month you have a direction and you're going to start to go there okay getting into the emotions working towards telling someone how you feel and perhaps this is new territory for you okay with that deceptive moon overhead so you're uncertain like how to go about that because it is uncharted territory i feel like okay and you have no idea if this person feels the same way so this person, okay, no longer on the hard journey, okay, but they also, in the middle of the month, are kind of at a pause where they're not really looking at anything new, okay? Yeah, they're healing their inner child so that they can have a second chance at love, but I don't feel like they're fully ready, but they're walking out of that emotional space. Okay, end of the month. You're fighting for something. And it could just be for yourself with the five of cups here. Like perhaps this person hasn't come in completely to your life yet but you're kind of fighting for yourself, your needs. Okay, I've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. So somebody could be wearing this mask, trying to control things. You're like, no, I'm manifesting my own stuff. I'm no longer giving to you. All right. This person here, okay, they are still looking back at their past a little bit before moving forward. Okay, but King of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. All right, so there is a, this person, I feel like, either they have a lot of stability and a lot of love, or they are ready and willing and wanting for a lot of stability and a lot of love. Okay, bottom of the deck, we do have a lot of happiness with the Seven of Pentacles. Like, this person is coming into their own, I feel like. And they want something different, something better. And I feel like you're kind of doing the same. So let's look at your emotions here, okay? Yeah, you're moving into this eager energy where you want to be in this playful space, okay? But dealing with whoever you are working yourself away from, like you are bothered and irritated and like ready to be done with it. You feel put out by whatever it is with this Queen of Pentacles and this Five of Cups that you're having to deal with. This person, okay, they may be trying to find themselves, all right, having, you know, they're working with their inner children, child, they're finding their own strength, they're not really willing to look at a relationship yet, okay, they're getting their confidence back after whatever they've been through, but what they want is love, they want someone to cherish them, to see them as the prize, okay, to adore them that's what they desire so let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper here okay so you are going through a rebirth here okay following your passions um, And I almost feel like 
it's kind of, they're showing me in the very, very back, you see that light? They're showing me like you kind of lit up whatever it is that you are going to walk away from because you're done with people that don't give to you. Yeah. King of Cups. This is hardcore where um, you're get, you've gotten out of the emotions. Like I said, you've gotten out of the emotions with this person that you have been dealing with. Um, you've tried and tried and tried to give and now you're cold. Okay, now you've gone cold. You have a lot of love to offer and you probably still love this person, but you're like, no, it's not working. Yeah, because here we have the Queen of Wands, all right, where um, they're sitting in the cold phallic chair. All right, and so really and truly, this person wants to control everything. All of the movement, all of the emotions, like they want to control everything. And you're like, no, that's not giving, that's controlling. And I don't want any part of that anymore. Okay, this person, yeah, they've come out of heartbreak. And they are moving towards calmer waters, right? They're getting their strength back. The universe is working with them because they're open. Seven of Cups. They're trying to figure out their path forward. They may have a lot of different options available to them. Not all have to be in love. Okay. Now you may be being held back from talking to this person because that took a long time to go out with the fear of rejection, okay, and holding back your passion, you might be kind of coming in, you want to come in with love, but you may be coming in kind of as a mentor here with um, the Emperor and the Four of Cups, because there is that fear of rejection, fear of not being seen, of, um, you know, the re you know, what if this person does me in? But with the Five of Swords, you are still going to move into some sort of, you know, connection here. It's in reverse. It's like you're facing all the fears and doing something anyway, but not all the way. You're like, I'm going to connect, but to a point. I'm going to keep some of this hidden. Okay, in this person, we've got the King of Pentacles, but the way that I'm seeing this, okay, it's almost like you guys have both been in a partnership with somebody that was very controlling. Okay, so there's an understanding between the two of, of what each other has been through. Yeah, and this person is looking for more of a spiritual connection. Okay, that's going to have long-term stability. So they've gotten the Ten of Pentacles here twice. They want me to look here at the middle of the deck. Yeah, but they don't see you coming at all with the moon here. Um, they're in their own emotional shit, okay? And they're not going to see you coming. Now, at the end of the month here, yeah, you are going to take a chance here, a page of cups, okay? You may be still tied to this person, trying to work yourself out of it, and you are kind of juggling, okay? But you have manifested this, and you're ready to go forward with it. Okay, this person wants to take it slow. Okay, they don't want to rush anything. They're afraid that you don't know what you want. You're going to choose them. You're going to find out that they are not what you want and they're going to get hurt again. Yeah, 
they five of cups and five of pentacles this person's been through it and they need to you know determine that they can trust this this person is very intuitive and we have the magician and the high priestess okay coming together and so i feel like you will get it you'll understand it you'll connect with it and the bottom of the deck here we've got the justice card so i feel like you will be the balance right and the strength that this person needs okay so let's go ahead and pull some romance angel cards for each of you keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so i feel like this person is different but i also feel like you're intrigued by this difference okay because like you can look they're both leaning kind of in curious so it's not a big deal to you that this person is different but love yourself first okay whatever you've been through they've gone through too they may be onto something with the idea of taking this slow okay but there may be a lot of passion that may be hard to do okay so this person all right they may be a little bit of a flirt okay light-hearted you may enjoy that because you feel very playful but they are looking for love okay but they're healing their past so that they can be in the present so i feel like you do have to let them go through this process if you want this to be something beautiful and long term so let's go ahead and pull some cards from the universe yeah this has been a long journey for you and but you've been actually following your path the whole way you may be packing things up and moving out in april Okay, there is, again, there is passion being sparked here. And we've got the emperor. Like, you're ready to move into this gameplay. But you're ready to move in and take the light, okay? Like, you don't want, like, the darkness. Like, you're ready to come in to the light energy. And just kind of go with it, like, you're both just very casual. Like, I feel that this is moving into playful and fun and flirty and dating. So you are taking it slow. Again, at the bottom, though, I've got that Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like what this person, this person really wants to know that this is going to be forever. And then I feel like they are going to be 150% in. So let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards. Yeah, fragmented energy. You're into the emotions, but you're out of the conflicts. And I feel like this could be for either side both sides you're both healing you've got to let all of these fragmented spaces <coughs> someone needed to hear that you need to let yourselves heal before you jump into anything and there could be like past childhood issues that need to be healed here but you also could both have families and you want to make sure 
you know, you want to date and make sure that this is all good before you entangle all of that together. But bottom of the deck, look at that. We've got the sacred temple. Like you may not see it yet because you're still in the challenged phase, but there, once the clouds clear, okay, and you get past the challenges, you will see that this is a very sacred union coming into you. Bravery. Explore your inner wild places. Okay, it takes a lot to get clear with yourself. It takes a lot to really see all of the parts of yourself and understand the uniqueness within. But I feel like that is what you are doing. That is where you are going. And again, you've got a lot of fives here. But it is working past the challenges, working past the deception, and having the courage to do it. All right. So I hope this helps you. I'm going to move to the extended, but I'm going to leave you a little sneak peek, okay? And I'm going to look at the lessons that you're learning. And then I'm going to do a more traditional reading and look at the general read for the moving into the month, the 28th through the 6th of what's coming in and what's kind of pushing that energy forward, all right? So I hope to see you there. Links are down below for Patreon, which is my community. When you join the community, you also get the Monday through Friday Current Energy Reads. Um, but you can also look for it um, by the end of the week, for sure, on uh, Vimeo. And it's just slower because I have to find the time to upload. <laughs> Okay, to there with Patreon, as soon as it's here on YouTube, then I can make it accessible there. And so it's instantaneous. All right. So much love, guys. I hope you enjoy the sneak peek. Don't forget to like down below or subscribe if you want to know when I'm doing the next video. And I hope to see you next time. All right. Much love. Bye.